the college basketball experience. March Madness opening round. Bombs down under episode on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network is brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform that's US based and available in 40 different states. Head to cut.com. That's K U T T dot com. Use that promo code SGPN to get a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play their fantasy pickup for a chance to win 100 times the amount of money you enter in NBA, NHL, college hoops, and much, much more. Sign up today. Using the promo code SGPN, you get a hundred percent deposit match. We're also brought to you by SGPN subscriber only March Madness bankroll challenge, free to enter, and two thousand dollars are up in prizes. Enter today, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness. We're also brought to you by a Hall of Fame bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit H2FBets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today, people. And remember, as always, folks, to let it ride. This is my team, Cleese, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. <laughs> Coming in hot. Oh, man. Weekend or no? Uh, bombs down under. Yeah, I always get just, these fucking confused. Right well, this is a combination. This is the bombs down under and the weekend bombs one because it's a special show. You're, you're, you're squeezing it in, thankfully, because there's such a full on Vegas schedule down there. You got <laughs> Noah cocktail napkins. You got shows in restaurants that don't even know you're doing shows in. What a <laughs> week it is here. Folks, that is right. Tonight, later tonight, uh, we'll be live from the horse trailer hideout. All right. 630 Pacific tonight and tomorrow night. So jump on over to the horse trailer, get yourself a cocktail and hop on that saddle. You know, let's go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the arts district of downtown, I think. And uh, look, I'm here. Uh, if you're watching youtube.com slash the college experience, I had to shut this tarp because it's so fucking bright in Las Vegas. Hmm. So it looks like I'm at a funeral parlor or something right now uh, with all this black shit going on behind me. Uh, just a, just a tarp, just a huge black tarp um, curtain. They call it. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, wow. my name is Colby swing and Dan base dad, AKA pick Don D that's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under. A man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I'm probably drinking too much and celebrating too much and not sleeping. I would have killed a normal man, but uh, no, that's gone. The medical advice I got from that was, was like being hit by lightning. Pretend it never happened and get on with your life. Mm. Woo! We got everyone out here. CJ Sullivan, he's a word as he's on a red eye. To Vegas at some point. Come on. Um, yeah, he's got we're, we're, Sports Gambling Podcast live from the win at 10 p.m. Pacific. It just keeps on rolling, man. Keeps on rolling. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to introduce you. Yes, I will introduce you. The host of the Bottom Line Bob's Podcast. They call him the man in the box, <laughs> aka the bet detective. Uh, Give it up for CJ Sullivan. Yes, buddy. Thank you, Dundee. Let me take over. It seems like I mean I'm I'm a little worried. I'm oh, yeah. I'm still back. You it's only two. Be. It's only Tuesday, be. right? It's only Tuesday, and you are on fumes already. We're I'm not even in, we're not even in the games in Dayton yet, and you are uh, hanging on by a thread out there. Looks like Dundee for present, but you'll get through. You know, the, there's, there's thought, shifts and waves in Vegas. I thought I was gonna get. Some nice sleep away from my son. Yeah. And White Tiger. Uh, eight in the morning and stacking the money greens doing NBA podcast. You know? <laughs> you got all kinds of kids. 
You don't uh, need that. You don't need yeah. adult roommates in Vegas getting you up at eight with his, with yeah. his NBA picks for crying out loud. So I'm saying he's got all this shit going on, but uh, yeah. We're up. We're talking. We had we got VEASAN spots. You got everything. You got everything. Um, yeah, how, looks, how you doing, buddy? Good. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to VEASAN. I'll be coming out there Thursday. I'll let you guys. Right now, I'm, I'm left behind Kevin McAllister style, as always. Someone's got to sign for the packages back here in the studios when Amazon drops off more merch, I guess. So, but it's going to be great. Tonight's the first four. And the NIT starts tonight. We got the uh, bombs coming in Thursday. Uh, hit a couple binks in the conference tournaments, including. The face pissers themselves, my Duquesne Dukes. You were against them Ooh. again. You were against them on every step of the way. Never every fading them again. Possible. Never, Never fading, fading them again. <laughs> I got my future. I got my future. They're a hot team. Watch out, you fucking Mormons, because they're a hot squad coming in. Let's just start right there, because I think. Okay. I think they're live. They are a live dog. Damn I think right. they're live against the Mormons there. Only thing that concerns me is I feel like the Mormons are better fit for Nebraska. They're definitely. Oh yeah, I don't want no parts of Nebraska. They're definitely a better fit for Nebraska. No, 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 um, no. Just the game is in Omaha, right? Yeah, the game, the game is in yeah, Omaha. That's what I'm talking yeah. about for sure. Yeah, the game's in Omaha. They're better fit for it. It's a quick turnaround. I don't. It's, it's tough when teams win their conference championship uh, tournament five games, five days, whatever it was, on a Sunday too, nonetheless. And now yeah. they have to play the early game on Thursday morning. I'm going to, I'm going to be flying in right when it's uh, tipping off. Um, so that's a tough turnaround for them. It's not good, but, but they are hot. I mean, the last month and a half, they've been a hot team. They're not the same team that started off the beginning of the year. They do not, str their, their bigs don't really uh, stretch on the perimeter defensively. So that's where BYU can really hurt them. If, I mean, if BYU's had their threes, just didn't, they're not going to have much of a chance, but um other than that, they can play with them. They can they can muck this game up for them, you know. And then BYU doesn't like to get that. And they can they lose games like this. So what happened there mid season? You though. called up and said, "No more checks until you guys start." You haven't made the tournaments in seventy seven. Yeah, I pulled the. Well, we, I got a, I, We got a group chat that has nil money that we get together. You know what I mean? We uh, <laughs> we sponsored with Permanis and uh, some of the crew there, and uh, we said, "Listen, we're not getting a return on our investment here. I'm not paying." <laughs> And they got their shit for, together. Yeah, yeah. For DD to miss five free throws. But Dr Dan Bot saying he's gone. He, he's super pissed at this NIL collective, demanding that the Dukes basketball get rolling. Unbelievable, um, unbelievable the press conference ago. I mean, how much motivation he really wants to ship this tournament. That that was his career high in that eight ten tournament. <laughs> now now he's going to do a win one for the keeper for this. Yeah, All I right. love it. Great timing. That's why I love this dog. I'm <laughs> on it. You sold yes. me on these Dukes. You huh? sold me. Let's uh, hop on over there and take it. But today, let's talk about today's action because right, sure. let's get into it. In about an hour and a half, we got Wagner and Howard going mm. on a uh, play-in game on the on the NCAA tournament. Yep, I'm all over the Bison of Howard here. I'm Curious. on Howard as well. I'm on yeah. Howard. I'm on the over, and I'm on Howard. I love one twenty-seven and a half. I got that total up and minus three, the bad number, but I'll still take it. I, I like Howard in this game a lot. I mean, Seth Towns has been in college for thirty-five years. He's in year eight. <laughs> yeah. The experience of the Bison, they were in the tournament a year ago, too. I think all the deciding factors. Yes, absolutely. And uh, I mean, I know you can bring up Wagner's 41st in the defensive rating, but uh, I would also argue that they're 306, uh, sixth in mm -hmm. offensive rating, whereas Howard, yes, 250 defensively, but uh, 160 in offense. So I think that can be the deciding factor. Um, they're also the much better free throw shooting team. Yeah. Which matters. So oh, oh it matters. That's I'm on the bison. We have Colorado State and UVA going on. Oh man. I mean the our, where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? Our nation puts our slow lowly eyes to you. Win this game, Colorado State. Please get this nightmare of Virginia. I thought listen, I had Virginia the other day versus NC State. It was a bad beat. They blew that game up five in the final minute. They missed whatever eight straight free throws. Guy shoots eighty percent, can't hit a fucking free throw. Whatever it was, but I and I took the <laughs> and I took the loss with the caveat that well, at least Virginia's out of my life. You know, I don't have to deal with it. Hopefully, it'll decline the NIT, and I will have to. And somehow, some way, I'm pretty sure the committee 
It was like your casual basketball fan this year. They said, watch basketball this year. And they're like, what? So they're like, what happened last year? Were they any good? Who was good last year? Let's toss them in. Toss Virginia and Give Gonzaga a five seed. I don't fucking know. <laughs> San Diego State gets a five seed. Why not? They're fifth in the Florida conference. Florida Atlantic. Oh, they were yeah. in the final four last year. They are making them an eight. Better than they were last year. <laughs> It's like they just started watching, you know. It's, uh, that's the worst job in the history of doing this, in my opinion. It, it was pretty amazing. It's like, oh, Dayton. Why are we putting Dayton in? Yeah. Their resume is horrible. Just put them in the play ins there. We want to get their fans excited about the games. Right. Martin Sheen is from fucking Dayton. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It makes no sense. But uh, that being uh, said, I'm more convinced. And I have, and I have Colorado State in my line, but that's more of what I want to happen. I, I'm more convinced to take the three points of Virginia. They actually play were playing good in that tournament after that collapse in the final minute. They're making a run. They're going to be in a championship game for crying out loud. You know, um, you can't shake these goddamn bastards. They're, it's like watching Root Canal. I hate them. Everyone hates them. <laughs> Nobody wants them there. And these are the teams that exactly the kind of, you know. He's going to win another national championship, isn't yeah, he? That, that'd be hilarious. If he did that, I would definitely laugh and <laughs> congratulate him on that. <laughs> I'm I'm taking Colorado State. I'm terrified of the game. I have Colorado State too. I am terrified too. I'd recommend Virginia. I'm benedicting myself on this one. <laughs> I do like I do like the over. That being said, I like the uh, out of any plays. What is it? One twenty the, the, the total. Well, well I don't get. <laughs> the rain, man. Uh, it is uh one twenty one right now. I'm one, seeing one twenty one. Right? I must have pushed it with my earlier show with my earlier bomb. Um. Which is always scary, taking a Virginia over, but the, but their splits, their home road splits on with their defense is uh, pretty drastic. It's like 10, 15 points or something like that. Yeah, they give yeah. Up more, you know. And uh, Colorado State's going to score. You know, you know they're going to score. Uh, we scouted them earlier on, loyal to Marymount. When uh, Mrs. Dundee had the uh, lion's head hat and the stocking cap, we oh, went yeah. out there and we saw them uh, run it up close. But that's back when they were good. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was, late in the year they fell apart. They sure did, but they they played. A little, I mean, well, they did get ran in that tournament, but they they put a couple wins together before New Mexico took them out, right? Yeah, I'm terrified of this game. Now we yeah. are still playing the first half unders. It of course, even the well, playing games, even the playing games. If you're asking, yes, that's a that's a smash spot. That's like splitting aces and blackjack. You don't even think about it. First half under, you play it auto play. And we're both going with Colorado State, even though CJ has got action on both teams. Let's go <laughs> with these Rams. No, I'm on the Rams. I'm on the Rams, but I'm 100% certain Virginia wins this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, the bet detective sniffing out a result. Yep. Um, Sniff, sniffing out results, sniffing out the, yeah, the vendettas. This one's a vendetta one. Um, you know, anytime you... Anytime, anytime people like you don't belong here, that those teams always go on runs, you know, that Syracuse now, team that one year with Bayheim played them in all the way to the fucking. Yeah. Or, Michigan know, state like, one year too, to the final four. Yes. Um, Speaking of which, that Mateen Cleves drop at the top of the show. You could you could hear his smile on that drop. He's the, <laughs> he's the best. <laughs> 100%. Um, uh, the NIT is going on. I already gave my picks in a nice little video for the universe. I saw that at your show, which again, plug again, where that show is going to be at again. We're tonight. at the, uh, the horse ranch, the you horse ranch, the horse the trailer. Sister? I'm sorry. Horse I'm trailer. Sorry. Horse trailer. I'm sorry. The, uh, the horse trailer hideout. All right. Okay. Get yourself now, over to the horse trailer hideout. Is that over in the arts district down there? By <laughs> it the, is in the arts the, district behind the strat. Um, Where are your Levi's? Yes. Um, <laughs> well, because that came because your promo clip came across my TikTok feed today. Very excited to see you, Moneyline Mac, down there. And it looked like you had um, zero permission to be filming there. And that's <laughs> and I'm all for that. I'm all for guerrilla content. And I <laughs> are they? They don't are know they, a show's happening. I was just going to say we they, know a show's <laughs> happening. All right. I was just gonna say, are they gonna be aware that there's a show occurring like that? But once they get those picks, they're gonna love, they're gonna love you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. When I come in there and start giving out hot winners carved down to the fucking bone, they're gonna be sitting there saying, "Who the fuck is this pick Dundee guy? He's yeah. buying cocktails for everybody." <laughs> Get him a fresh horse all burger I'm, on me. <laughs> all I'm saying is they better have more than one bartender because we're coming in we're coming in hot and heavy. Yeah. All right, and have, and the, and have the TVs lined up properly. Another one on of Jeopardy <laughs> running over here. We got NIT action. By the way, take South Florida money line. 
And I yes. did. Yes. So we did, did you gave out what were your NIT picks yeah. for some people listening there? Well, South it, Florida money line. Okay. That went up. They're plus 225 now. It's plus 190 last night. Get on over there. Plus 225. Take on uh, the money line, but I mean take the points cover your ass. Um I went with UC Irvine in the points against the Utes. I took Virginia Tech. Now this line went up and I think this is where it's easy to see a tide turn. So I don't think I would go much higher on that. Don't don't bet VC or uh, Richmond now getting six and a half against the Hokies in Casal Coliseum. No. Butler minus the points at Henkel against Minnesota. Yep. Um, no, Iowa it, it, minus the points at home against the Kansas State Wildcats. I like that one. See, a lot of the uh, NIT is you have to handicap who's going to give a shit out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's obvious to show you got to be keep, dialed keep, in. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I'm terrified of me taking LSU minus two and a half, but I bet. Oh, it. I'm LSU. Terrified. Yeah. LSU is the classic. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, Wait, we didn't. Yeah. We didn't opt out of this. We're playing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, I just feel like the team that they're, they're, they're going to be one of those instances where they don't have the jerseys. It's yeah. like the uh someone on the team just uh you know uh, for I I forgot I didn't realize you meant this year. I thought we we're <laughs> opening the season with North Texas. <laughs> yeah. Um oh man I can see North Texas win by 20 but I like Dallas <laughs> here for sure. Uh, I'm on Ohio State pretty big. I like them even I like Ohio half, State too. Have some big number. I'm not a Cornell fan um but um Ohio State will definitely be motivated to play for sure. I also took Xavier. I took Boston College because I'm thinking Providence might be a little unmotivated. Hmm. They should, they, they were snubbed. For, yeah, for, for sure. They're sitting there. Why, why the fuck? I mean, I guess it's a home game, but I, I don't know. Cause the, uh, they go to Hinkle in the next round, but I don't like them moving this NIT everywhere. I do like it at Hinkle, but I mean, it was in Vegas last year. I thought it was in Vegas this year. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And then I realized it's at Hinkle. Um, Anyway, That's th- they should have kept it at the. I liked it at the garden. That's what teams want to do because all these dumb teams want. Like they're like, hey, we yeah. got a trip to New York City, you know? Exactly. And, uh, and it was great. I hate it. Central Park, ride around in the fucking horse and carriage, which is hilarious. You- which is hilarious. Where Patino and them declined the NIT. First of all, Patino, St. John's, you are the NIT. Okay, yeah. you're <laughs> born. You're built. You are. You are the NIT every year. And who the fuck are you <laughs> to turn down the NIT? The NIT turns you down. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh look, we're gonna get to uh we're gonna get to Wednesday's action. But before we do that, I want to tell you it's March Madness, but it's also merch madness. 15 15% off everything in the merch store with the promo code madness. Get a pick done D t shirt, get a bet detective t shirt over there and start looking, start, you know, just upgrading your life. 15% off with the promo code madness. And also, don't forget about SGPN's subscriber only March Madness contest. It's free to enter and only open to subscribers of SGPN shows. Yes, for every SGPN show you're subscribed to, you'll get a bonus credit to use in the contest. It's a bankroll style contest, winner take all for a $1,000 prize or $2,000 if you're subscribed to Sports Gambling Podcast Patreon. Go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash madness. We're also brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer-to-peer social betting platform that's U.S. based and available in 40 different states. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet. Bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes, plus a ton of fun social features that give it a feel of a betting social network, so to speak. Cut also offers lower vig and fully customizable odds. You can create your own bet. Cut handles the payment side of things, too, so you never have to chase down old Ricky in the streets. You know, uh... Uh, download cut today in the app store or over at uh, cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by underdog fantasy cannabis capper has been killing it with these articles of sports gambling podcast.com. Give him a follow on Twitter at cannabis capper, but you know, he's just, he's dialed into the matrix of underdog fantasy and it's fantastic because there's a lot of value you can find here. And, and let me tell you, underdog is the, is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Pick whether your favorite players will have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to a hundred times the amount of money you enter in a single night. And you pick, this is essentially how it works. You pick between two and five players to build a pick them entry. The more players you pick, the higher the odds go up. 
And uh, yeah, like I said, you could find some great edges there. Sign up today with the promo code uh, SGPN. Get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as the Insta Pickup Special. Visit underdogfantasy.com. Find them in the App Store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN to get your first deposit doubled up to $100 as well as the Insta Pickup Special. All right. Nice. We are back. I made it through without without vomiting. I made it through the uh, <laughs> the ad reads without vomiting. Um, no, I I I uh, I'm doing okay. And uh, Wednesday, we got some more playing games for this sort of grambling Montana State. Mm. Montana State's laid three and a half. I as much as I like this grambling team, Montana State has been hot of late. I yeah. know we. You tend to want to fade the teams that won the conference tournament, but in this case, both won. <laughs> they both won. And, um, and I just think Montana State, you know, they were the ones breaking in a brand new head coach. I feel like towards the back half of the year, they started playing a lot better. This is at UD Arena. Remember, Dayton, Ohio. But I am taking the Bobcats minus three and a half points so far. I'm just going chalk on these play in games. What are you doing here? I know. I don't like it either. I'm also going chalk. I'm on Montana State, of course. Grambling, great band, but I'm sorry. They'll have, a, they'll, they'll have their night. This is all you need. Find it, put put your performance out on True TV. And then, you know, it'll be, uh... <laughs> it always, uh, that always cracks me up. How the fuck True TV ends up getting these games? Everyone watching, what are you, True TV? Why, why are you involved in his first Dude, four like, games in a madness? I don't know if you remember, but one of those years when it first started, it was on TV land. They used to own a, yes, a TV for land. Sure. Yeah. Um, when it first started, like when they first started having all, because I remember back in the day, back in the day, you would just get the regional game and you're fucked. You know, like yeah. you're, you're trying, you're trying to anything on the, I grew up on the East coast. So it was like anything on the West coast. You're just like, you're, you're tuning into radio, trying to get the call on the radio. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember Maryland. I lived in, in, in DC. Maryland played Santa Clara yep. and I, we couldn't watch it. We couldn't watch it. We could only listen to it. The kids don't know. They don't know about the struggle. Listening to games. Yeah. You ma imagine such a thing. Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, uh, I like I like basketball on the radio though. For some reason, you feel the gymnasium. You know, you feel like the kind of comes in there. You know, you feel the squeeze because you hear them at the table. The score come. You hear it. You know, the substitution yeah. horn is yeah. right in there. You know. And you I do feel like, like yeah, absolutely. baseball's got a nice radio vibe too. Oh, baseball should only be on the radio <laughs> <laughs> or read. You can either read it the next day in a newspaper or you listen to it on the radio. It should never be watched. <laughs> they should take it. They should outlaw cameras. Absolutely. They should outlaw cameras. Cameras, uh, is, cameras ruin baseball. <laughs> baseball, when it was radio only, would get 100,000 people at the polo grounds or some shit. You know what I mean? They're like sitting, sitting on top of each other's shoulders in the railroad. Road tracks looking over a fence. That's when baseball was alive, baby. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. I think you're onto something. And now that I think about it, it's ever since cameras started rolling. You know, once once cable TV came out, baseball has been. No, oh, yeah, it's awful. <laughs> it's I don't want to see all these games. No one. <laughs> No one wants to see all these games. I want to see all these teams. That was half the mystery of the World Series. I don't even know what the hell happened in the American League. Is that a real thing? You know, like, all right, we're playing the Red Sox. Yeah. Who the fuck are they? <laughs> it was uh, the other game going on, uh, playing game, Colorado and Boise State. <laughs> One of my favorite reaction shows. <laughs> One of my favorite reactions was Boise State's coach being like, uh, "What? We're in the playing game? What? I know. What's going on?" <laughs> just, just goes, that was, yeah, that was the, <laughs> that was the first thing I showed was Boise State playing game. I was like, "Oh, okay, their conference, <laughs> this conference is getting fucked." <laughs> I mean, the coach said he was gonna be like a six seed. He, I know uh, <laughs> that was insane. I mean, they wait, really... wait, we're going to Dayton. Wait, I thought we had three practices. No, no, you're going. You got to get up and play tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you play Wednesday, buddy. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's uh, what's so hilarious. The only the only team in that conference that got a good seating was San Diego State. They finished fifth. It's like they only the they only watched last year. They like oh, regular shit. season. They didn't yeah. win the postseason. Nothing. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, weren't, weren't they in a title game? All right, put give him a five seed. Give everyone else 12. I don't know. 
Uh, yeah, for that reason alone, I'll take Colorado. <laughs> Boise State was not prepared. They, they, they were taking days off. He's like, honey, don't worry. I'll take you to the movies on Tuesday. I'll take yeah. you to the movies. They, all of a sudden, oh, shit, we're going to Dayton? Yep. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, Colorado, no parts of Dayton. I'm yeah, with, Colorado I'm with you. just open to get to Dayton. They're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm with uh, you. I'm, I'm on Colorado here. I like them a lot. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen that reaction video, Boise State's coach go, like That's he's so just funny. he couldn't believe it for yeah. a good a good thirty seconds. Um, there was there was that reaction video, and then there was that Virginia video where they could not believe <laughs> they were in a tournament. <laughs> so they celebrated a party, like, man. It was like yeah. it was like Y two K over there, right? right? They look like NASA when they land on the moon or something. They're what? I can't believe! It. I thought that thing was gonna blow up in the countdown. We got there. We got the moon. I mean, there was all these, yeah, this weird Virginia yeah. white guys hugging each other. Yeah. It's like, man, they didn't know it. They expect to be in the tournament. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm chalking all four. All four. Yeah. You believe that? All chalk. Love I know. You I'm chalking too, which is obviously scary. And especially these playing games, the short dogs usually do hit against the spread. They do, they're do. they always tight, nip and tuck games. But I can handle these lines, to be honest with you. Under, under two, two and a half, three. Um now there is yeah. some Wednesday NIT action. Yes, let's look at some Wednesday NIT. VCU Rams are taking on your Villanova Wildcats. Mm. I think Villanova might fuck them up. Um, yeah. Villanova's been okay, obviously, but the, the Paul game notwithstanding. Uh, Neptune is such a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get fired. <laughs> I mean, my God, I know they, get fired. they can't do it just yet. It's one of those deals, you know. They have to. I'm just looking at these lines right now. It seems um, like Vegas has no idea. Look, look, so right now, this is what I see: Appalachian State, Wake Forest, Wake minus six and a half, VCU, Villanova, Villanova minus six and a half, San Francisco, Cincinnati, Cincinnati minus six and a half. Are they phoning right. us in? They're just like ah, six yeah. and a half. They're like the slapping at board. six and a half. <laughs> They're slapping at six and a half. I have one play that I like on that that Thursday or the Wednesday NIT. Besides Indiana, people like Indiana State a lot. I don't know. I, I, I mean, you can get SMU. Indiana State, they'll be, they'll want to play for sure. SMU maybe not, um, but I don't. But six and a half is still a little too much for me to lay there. I like Princeton minus three versus UNLV. I don't think UNLV. Oh, that one's them. great. That one's I don't, great. UNLV don't think, does not give no, any shit. They don't give a yeah. shit. They don't want to fly to New Jersey. They don't even know Princeton's in New Jersey. <laughs> I mean, that is a slam dunk lock right uh, there. Right. That is that a, is a slam dunk lock. <laughs> that is a smash play. <laughs> All over that one. All yep. over that one. I mean, look, everyone's going into Vegas and they're going out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, right? On? Everyone's flying to Vegas <laughs> and they're flying into Trenton. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, all over that App State plus the points against Wake Forest. I'm thinking, okay, for sure, I can get behind that. Wake's been a joke. I don't know what to really do in the San Francisco Cincinnati game. Part of me is like Cincinnati will play because they haven't. They seem to be like on the upward trajectory, but yeah, I got I no don't know. fucking idea. I like the Dons there. Yeah, I'll take the points with the Dons. Yeah, I'll, I, I think I would. I think I would ultimately do that too. St. Joe's, your 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 Hawks are getting My seven Hawk and a half against Seton he's, Hall. He's, is the game after 9 a.m. because that's when they play well. Um, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Yeah, Pacific. All right. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Hall, um, they also got snubbed in front of the tournament, if anyone got snubbed. So they got snubbed over St. John's, I would say, Season Hall. They beat, they beat them two, even though they just lost by 20 to them, but they beat them two out of three. And they have great, great wins versus UConn and uh, um, whatnot. Yeah. So will they want to play? Stuff. I'm taking I mean, the points. I'm taking yeah. the points. I don't know that they want to play. Yeah, I don't think they do either. I'll th- give me St. Joe's. You got the portal open. We had a guy who's in the NCAA tournament hit the portal. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Why are they opening it up the second the fucking tournament? The, the brackets came out. <laughs> what is wrong with Let's people? penalize all the teams that made it. All right. Um, but I just love someone that's be like, hey, I was a guy for NC State. That was the best part about it. You know, our run yeah. was great. We won the ACC championship. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer <laughs> out. We all know how this. We all know this ends. <laughs> Teams that make conference tournament runs, we we get we get bounced <laughs> pretty quickly. We'll be out by noon on Thursday, so I'm gonna hit the portal, get my yeah. ducks in a row, and uh, I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> Loyola and Bradley. Um, that's another one. Bradley's laying four and a half. I'll take Loyola. Yeah, I'll culture Loyola play. There. Culture play. Loyola. I mean, they. 
they they they're going to want to have to culture play. They're going to want to have to uh, play again after after the way they choked that Bonnie's game that, that, that <laughs> in the eight ten tournament. That was a, a uh, I, was, I still I still wake up. That one to me is worse than Virginia NC State. Yeah, I mean it was bad. <laughs> they just kept fucking fouling them. three points. Yeah, what are they doing? Just stay, yeah. leave them alone. All right, we've touched on the NIT for the real sickos out there that we love. Let's yes. talk about the tournament. Let's talk about uh, Thursday. The I love, CIT? <laughs> yeah, we have, I, I need those lines on the CIT. I know. Uh, I, what, right, let's get into Thursday. What's going on here with this? Why do we have to watch Michigan State open up the NCAA tournament every year? Is that why you had to put them in? Oh, my Is that God, why you had to put them in? Breakfast with Izzo. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Jesus. They didn't belong in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> then you give us Michigan State and Mississippi State the first game. This is so about brutal. as interesting as my fucking asshole. This is a, <laughs> this, is a this is complete. I mean, dude, who's oh, making, go. who's calling the shots over there? Um, Michigan state's laying one and a half. Everyone's questioning why Michigan state is in the tournament, including myself. Cause they shouldn't be, they shouldn't be in there. But I'll take them. I'll take them minus one and a half because I know what Izzo does. What are they? I think he's like 12 and one. In the in the opening round or twelve yeah, and two, yeah. something like that over the past uh, fourteen appearances. Yeah, these uh, are the games. He he doesn't lose these games. He'll lose <laughs> the next game, but he doesn't lose these games. People, he's not going to make an elite A run or anything like that. But he wins this game. That's what well. They That's also what gave happens. him. They, dude, they gave him Mississippi State. Mississippi State's got no business being at eight. <laughs> I know. They're just like, hey, Izzo, don't worry. We got you. We're going to give you a <laughs> shitty team that can't shoot. All right. <laughs> give you a shitty team that can't shoot. You guys, you'll get another one and uh, your streak will continue on. You're now, right about that. Uh, Mississippi State has no <laughs> business being in eight. Dude, <laughs> they should be in the play in game. Like, what are we talking about here? Um, I oh, but I think, I think Sparty gonna, gets it done. I was just going to say, yeah, I, I like Sparty here to get it done. Um, I was we were talking about the bad seating and like I know New Mexico has an eleven. I couldn't believe they said that New Mexico needed to win to get in. Yeah. What are they? What? Do they watch college basketball. I, I mean, what are they talking? Keep that to yourselves. That just makes you seem dumber. Michigan State's <laughs> best road win is Maryland. I know. All right. <laughs> well, they played Purdue tough down the stretch. You can tell they were tough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm on Sparty though. Load All up right. on Sparty. Yep, yeah, we'll definitely yeah. take Sparty. Go <laughs> hammer that. Uh, <clears throat> Duquesne's getting nine and a half. We touched on that. That's just gold. You want to go out there and get some gold? Lock um, that in. Sprinkle a little on the money line. They're oh, yeah. hot. Like I said, the oh, only yeah. thing the only thing I worried about is the quick turnaround of winning the tournament on Sunday and having to play the early game in Omaha um, versus a team that could light it up. But but they're playing. I mean, they're hot. They're they're, they're and BYU even, even LeBron tweeting about them. Yes, he is. The old coach, absolutely. See? Duquesne Dukes. Since Norm Nixon. That's what I'm saying. Even the Chinese right now. Loving Duquesne. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> um, Akron getting 12 and a half against Michael Crichton. Love Akron. This is in Pittsburgh. Is Akron going to have the crowd here? Yeah, Akron will definitely have the crowd here for sure. I mean, uh, Great travels a little bit. This is at the uh, Mellon Arena. I mean, Ohio, Ohio, they're they're there already. They, they're there. They're drunk. They love a weekend in Pittsburgh. Twelve and a half is a gigantic number. I sprinkled a little on the money line too. Why not? I mean, yeah. I think I, I think I can can get this team. Great, Creighton, if they're missing, you know, you Creighton away from home, and if they're missing, they, I mean, they also can go to Final Four, but they, <laughs> but they're a team, but they're a team that you know can lose on any any game. Or any you saw them lose to Colorado State. Yeah, absolutely right. And you and LV. And you what the hell? The Mountain West got the resume too. They gave Creighton, they gave Creighton a three seed. <laughs> the whole Mountain West beat Creighton. Um, the whole Mountain West beat Creighton. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I love Ak Akron's one of my favorite plays, actually. Yeah, I'll take the points too. Uh 12, plus the 12 and a half for sure. Dan Munson. Danny Munson, LB State. Uh how hilarious if they did go on a run and they had to keep, they had to retain him. I took, I said it earlier. There's a prop bet. What happens first? Danny Munson gets retained by Long <laughs> Beach State, or the committee finds irre irregular betting on a side uh, this tournament. It's plus one fifty <laughs> for uh, Munson. Well, I mean, I feel like Munson should already be retained. Being it is that you're fucking Long Beach State, all right? <laughs> now, right. <laughs> Where, where, what do you want to be, Long Beach? <laughs> 17 years. I mean, what do they? 
<laughs> Did George Lucas on. just make a big donation or something? Or Spielberg? One of those guys went to Long Beach State. Um, besides that, I just don't understand what you're thinking here. But uh, you know, he uh, gave Tommy Lloyd his first job. Tommy Lloyd was a GA for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, he hired him, and then he left for Minnesota. So he never actually, I think, worked with him. Um, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I obviously ate shit with Arizona. They scorched my bracket in the opening round a year ago yeah. as I had Arizona winning the national championship and Princeton just took a blow torch to that shit. Um, I'm going to say this. If you want to take long beach state, you take it first half. You take it first half. What are you doing? Here? I like. I, I I like that for a lot of those big dogs like Stetson and all those guys. If you take them first half, because they're never going to hold on. Um, I actually think Arizona's going to cover the number in the second half. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm not, I'm not messing around with this game. To be honest with you. Um, yeah. There's a certain trend with those. It's not going to get the cover. Twenty and a half is kind of like in the middle there. I think you have to this number actually. I mean, who, who we get? You broke up a little bit on me. Is that my? Fucking Palazzo internet or what? And <laughs> now I'm back in it. Uh, that could okay. be me mumbling, stirring away, and trying to be indifferent and uh, trying to play both sides. Um, I like what you said, Long Beach. I'm not going to be playing that, but I would be looking more in game in the second half. Arizona will definitely uh, will come in the second half. Um, they got to rub that tape. The Arizona's got to get going. You know, after losing the Oregon like that in the tournament, they need to get some consistency going. I like Arizona. All their metrics are great. You know, their offense is great. They even play some defense, but, you know, you just can't trust them. I mean, obviously, you can trust them here in the one seed, but they could go all the way or they could get fucking bound second round. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Joe Hacking. Correct. I do have my pulse on America. The bet detective is here sniffing out the lines from coast to coast. <laughs> Morehead State's getting 11 and a half against Illinois. Illinois won the Big Ten. I'll take the points in Moorhead State. And yes. Well, Underwood just has a knack <laughs> for being, you know, yes. completely out coached in the NCAA tournament. What is going on with Illinois? There's, there's, they're suing each other, lawsuit. I mean, what's <laughs> I love it. That's kind of chaos I kind of like going into a tournament. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I would I'll take the points there. <laughs> Moneyline Ed said, CJ Sullivan's funny as fuck. Catch him wow. live. Where, where, where are you going next? I know you're in Vegas yeah. on the red so, eye, but I mean. Uh, <laughs> coming into Vegas, I'll be on. Well, of course, I'll be on all these networks. Just subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs. You can hear me every hour. And if you're in the Milwaukee area, I'll be at the uh, Laughing Tap, April 19th. We get, uh, Boom. Uh, get on over there to Milwaukee. I don't give a more, shit. Yeah, but more importantly, subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs. You can hear my hour of me, man in the box style, straight up. Oh yeah. Sports combined. Oh yeah. Get on over there. Bottom line bombs. Um, I'm on Morehead State in the points. I like Morehead State there for sure. Eleven and a half. I'll take it. Twelve and a half. Um, the way Illinois plays defense, that back door is always open. One of the most confusing games to me was Oregon, the eleven seed, taking on South Carolina, the six seed. I thought this line would be five and a half or six. I was so loaded. I was like, I'm gonna throw a bunch of money on Oregon. Yes. Then the line dropped at one and a half, and I said, "What? Give me South Carolina now." Now you like South Carolina? It's not. It's not it just it, bet detective. I need. I need you to sniff out this one because it doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, I've heard both sides of this. If this line, if this was a week ago or a week and a half ago, this would be it's South Carolina. Fucking, yeah, it would know. be a a large number. It'd be like minus five, something yeah. like that. This is a crazy. This is a crazy number, but. That said, now that Oregon got the big man back, they are playing good. They did, you know, they came out of nowhere to win that tournament. I hated them. They, they, they were killing me this last end of the regular season. Their offense was absolutely garbage. They couldn't cover lines like two. They would, they would do the worst thing. They would win and not cover when the line was like two or one and a half. <laughs> like twice yeah. back to back, they yeah. do that to me. Whereas like Utah at home. So, um, <laughs> I'm I on think the, I'm right. the Cox. I'm on the I Cox. Think you're right. We're There's gonna win a close on the one. Cox. They've been yeah. disrespected all year. They're good this year. They're not as impressive with the eyeball test, but neither are these fucking ducks. I'm uh, going on a run in the Pac-12 tournament doesn't really impress me. Although they are, I will, I will admit they are a different team with that big man in there. But give me, yeah, give me. But, the but don't worry, he'll be injured by uh by the time he'll get <laughs> he'll get a uh, sprained neck on the flight. Um, Nevada, Dayton. Although, although we all know where. 
Oregon and uh, Oregon in the tournament, though. I mean, yeah, that is, that, that is a pro. Now we do got a problem. He just yeah. he, uh, every yeah. year. I don't know how he does it. You know, that is true. Dana Altman gets gets the best oh. out of his uh, out of his NCAA tournament runs. Now we got a problem. Yeah, now, now we got a problem. Uh, Nevada laying one and a half against Dayton. This, 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 how the, how the fuck is Nevada the 10th seed? They should be the seventh seed here. And I Dayton shouldn't even incredible. be in the NCAA tournament. Dayton is one of those. They shouldn't be anywhere. And they gave him a seventh seed. What the fuck are these guys? Do they think Obi Toppin's back there? Is this some COVID uh, making up for that? I mean, this is a crazy line. I mean, I obviously like Nevada here, but the only problem is I think Dayton everyone likes only Nevada. wins in the fielder against Duquesne, who they just lost to. All right. Who Duquesne and Longwood. Just who who was like a six seed in their conference? Yeah, Dayton's resume is awful. It makes no sense. You look at Nevada's, you're like, oh, they uh uh let, let, let me let me see here. They beat TCU at TCU by thirteen, mm -hmm. huh? Let's see who else they beat. Um, they beat uh well, let's go ahead and say San Diego State, who they have as a fucking five seed, right? <laughs> They've beaten Colorado State, who's in. Dude, they were just making this up, right? They didn't know what they were doing. They were just no, saying, nah, I mean, just... I, mean I, I swear they got woken up on Saturday and they're like, you know, you get, we got to make these brackets tomorrow. What? <laughs> I, I haven't watched a game. <laughs> I mean, I mean I, I'm in the Hamptons with my family. What do you right, mean? Absolutely. Well, pick How's... somebody. All right, give, give me Dayton. Give me College Dayton. Basketball star. Yeah, Dayton. All right, they're good. Give us seven seed. <laughs> Remember, they were fucked that COVID year. Well, here's our. Here, here's us making up for it. Get him right. in. Get him in. Does o, yeah. Does Obi still play for them? <laughs> uh, now, having said all of this, I'm taking Nevada minus one and a half, but I'm terrified. <laughs> I got to take Nevada one. Yeah, everyone likes him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just hit it. Don't even think about it. Now uh, this next game though. Now we get into the late games. The Oakland Grizzlies. Greg Campy got done, uh, you know, winning games, went over and did some charity work at the McDonald's there mm -hmm. and wherever the fuck Oakland, Michigan or wherever. Uh, Oakland's catching 13 and a half K Kentucky. This is in Pittsburgh. Big blue nation is going to invade Pittsburgh, which is John Calipari's hometown. Might I add? Yes. He's a Yenzer dude. I'm still taking the points because Kentucky's defense is 230 or er, 232nd in defensive rating. Oakland's a, a top 100 offense. I think they can score enough points to stay within that number. A lot of people are thinking money line. I'm not on the money line side of this. What are you doing yeah, here? I'm not, I'm not going to quite money line Oakland on this one, but I'll tell I'll definitely take the 13 and a half. Um, there's gonna be a lot of points scored in this game. 163. I'm looking at the total there too. Yeah. Um, why not? I mean, it's just gonna be a track meet. Um, it's one of those ones. The first half under might go, huh? Yeah. There's yeah. a couple first half unders. I don't, I'm not going to quite blind bet just to, just, just because we made merch about it. I mean, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like, I do like Oakland for sure. Getting the points. Shout out to Jose Sierra says, love this show, the college basketball experience. Well, well, it goes both ways, buddy. We appreciate mm -hmm. you here. And uh, thanks for uh, checking us out. Um, McNeese is taking on Gonzaga in Salt Lake city. Everyone is on dude. My fucking Uber driver. I took, I had to go to from Santa Monica to Burbank airport at three o'clock yesterday. Yeah. I spent 17 hours in the fucking car. So um, <laughs> my Uber <laughs> driver gives me two winners. When he finds out I'm going to Vegas for March Madness, I got two plays that I'm all over. Yeah. He says McNeese is going to beat Gonzaga outright. Oh, and his other play was Samford against Kansas. I like Samford. I'm fading my Uber driver. I'm all over <laughs> Gonzaga minus the points. Yeah. I like also, my Uber driver yeah. also told me this after yeah. we were in traffic for a dense, you know, a dense amount of traffic. And then, uh, uh, we're sitting there and he goes, I'm going to be honest, man. I might fall asleep. And I go, are you, are you, sure, are you sure you want to tell me this? <laughs> well, if I die off, go ahead and do me. Cause I haven't got to say, but take the wheel. Go ahead. You, you have permission <laughs> to take the wheel. And uh, it, it, it tries itself. Where are we going? You're going from Venice to Burbank. <laughs> <laughs> he had the courage after that to say, so you're going to give me five stars. I'm like, I don't know. You just told me you're going to fall asleep on the fucking, on the fucking highway. Cause you were, you were up late <laughs> last night partying. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh, you man, I, I can't check. I tell you what, I still think it's in my system. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't get pulled over, we're both fucked. You know what I mean? Let me tell you, McNeese, McNeese. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that McNeese team. But I tell you, that will that will wait. I mean, people call him a criminal, but all that shit's legal now. If you ask me, I tell you what, it's also not legal is driving under the influence, and that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. He's like, I'm not gonna lie to you, Colby. I might fall asleep right now. I'm like. <laughs> Are you, are you fucking with me right now? You, fuck, you know, we're, 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 we're on the middle of the freeway right now. Um, Did he make yeah, I'm, fa I'm, I'm fading him. I have a straw. Actually, that's a parlay. I'm taking Gonzaga. I'm taking Zags Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're parlaying the shit out of the fade, the Uber driver. I like right. it. <laughs> um, uh, what are you doing in both those games? What did, Kansas Will, <laughs> what did Will Wade say down at LSU? He was a like, call on the table. Like, ah. I made you a shit ton of a deal, like a shit ton a strong ton of ass offer. I made him a strong ass, ass offer. Ass offer. <laughs> oh, oh man, man. strong uh, ass offer. No, I like this. I think this Zags handled them pretty easily, actually. I think I like watching McNeese State play, but I think it's a bad matchup for him. And also, that's another thing these committees are cowards with by putting these small te small teams versus other small conferences games. You know, like the like your Grand Canyon versus Aries and Gonzaga versus uh, making these state. Have them play the fucking real big teams and let them run and get terrified them a bit. You know, I agree. I completely agree. And uh, they do it. Yeah, year, though. they do that on purpose. They don't want these small oh, conferences to rise 100%, up. hundred percent. They do it on purpose. They don't want the mountain. See, the Mountain West is getting too close to rising up. We'll put you in your fucking place. All right, mm -hmm. you're all. <laughs> You're all in the playing game. Your whole conference is in the playing games, except San Diego State, because they don't—they thought they joined the Pac-12. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, they in the Mountain West. Um. Uh. Yeah. So parlay that because Uber driver definitely. I like the Uber driver part. I, I I like Sanford myself, but that's enough handicapping to get me off. Madman Uber <laughs> driver. Who's <laughs> willing to put his life on the line for the play? That's the auto fade. Guy. Yeah, hey, so he drops off. He gives me my luggage. He goes, "You got me for a five star, don't you?" I'm like, dude, just give me my fucking bag, man. Just give me my fucking bag. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck are you? Um, he did. He asked for the five star. He did. He did. He did. did. It was great. Um, South Dakota State. So TJ Otzelberger used to coach at South Dakota State. Is now at Iowa State. I'm very curious. I know Iowa State travels. So this game's at Omaha, though. That's not that far from Brooking, South Dakota. We potentially. Have a uh, yeah, but I wins travel everywhere. I don't go from Ames there, no problem. Yeah, I'm laying um, points actually. What am I yeah. kidding? The summit, yeah, who are we kidding? Iowa State's destroyed these mid majors, so I'm all over Iowa State right. there. This is a team Iowa State will absolutely pound. NC State, they got players transferring, they're taking on Texas Tech. Texas Tech's laying, I think, five. Is it five and, um, a, half. Five and a half? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's simple, simple handicapping. Now, this went up a point overnight, uh, but uh. Yeah, I'll take Texas Tech. I will. I'll go against you. I'll take the points of NC State. I don't mind them. I, I know they. I know they. I know how the story ends. Of course, they do the tournament run. They get. They're tired or exhausted. But these guys, if they're going to get tired, they're going to get tired in a championship game, which they did not. You know, the overtimes. Um, they're they're playing well together. Give me the big man. Give me Escalade, little little, little Escalade's little brother. You know, playing yeah. out there. Uh, I'll take. I'll take five and a half. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not laying that with Texas. Going with Tech. that DJ Burns unit, huh? Um, yeah, I just don't want to lay with Texas Tech. To be honest with you, I'll take the, I'll take NC State. I hate laying a big number with Texas Tech, but it's a I pussy do. pack. So, yeah, um, that's, Dr that's true. Drake, Washington State, dude. You want to talk about how much they hate Washington State? They're like, okay, no we shit. Gotta, we got to put them in because they they have a great resume. They won at Arizona, but you know what? They're, let's put them as a seven seed and have the, have the ten seed take them on, but. The ten seed will play in Omaha, Nebraska, because it's easy for them to get to Omaha from what is it, Des Moines? Dude, yeah. this is an away game for Washington State. They're the seven seed, getting completely fucked on this one. Uh, I'll take Drake because of that. Uh, I like Drake. Drake's becoming a trendy sleeper to make to, to, to make a run in this tournament because they were supposed to last year and they did not. Um, and they returned everyone and all that. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I never understand this Cougar team. You know, they, they were they were ready to win this conference. They won at Arizona. And they started like, losing right. to everybody. Yeah, like, all right, like, all right, that's a, that's enough for us. We're we're gonna wrap this up. And then they came back and had a little resurgence. <laughs> then they fell right on their face again. <laughs> sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be shit. Uh, all right, look. Before we get to Friday slate, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Game Time. Buying tickets to your favorite event shouldn't be that stressful. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater that is near you. 
with killer deals on last minute tickets and their best price guarantee. You can stop stressing over the tickets and start getting hyped for the fun you'll be having at that very event. So what are you doing, folks? Snag the tickets without the stress with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, use their redeeming code CFBX for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create that account, redeeming code CFBX for $20 off. Download the game time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. We top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by the St. Patrick's Day Shamrock Shavers Manscaped Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. (laughs) I just love that. This adds so much shit into that. I love it. The five point lawnmowers 5.0 Ultra. Let me tell you, I have, I think, four of the five lawnmowers. They're all fantastic, but this one is the best yet. All right. So this year, don't just chase rainbows. Make your own pot of gold and groom your little leprechaun with the leaders and below the kilt care. Say goodbye to your clover forest with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and let your confidence shine in. All right. Uh, embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped. Head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGPN for 20% off plus free shipping. Ever since I've Manscaped, I proudly can say I found my bowl of lucky charms at the end of the rainbow. Meet your new lucky charm for St. Patrick's Day, the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This trimmer comes with two interchangeable blades. Next, uh, what next gen skin safe blade heads, might I add? Uh, one for the classic trim that everybody wants. Two is a new foil blade to go wherever your heart desires. All right. Both of them got dual LED spotlights. Those that, I mean, that's just good to have. You get it, you know, you never know when you're going to have an earthquake, tornado. I shit, I watched the tornado footage today going through Kansas. You got no power for a week. Don't forget your lawnmower 5.0 Ultras got you covered. And fear not, it's waterproof. So in case, yeah, in case a tornado comes, you got a lawnmower to uh, get with. One hundred percent. All right. So get twenty percent off and free shipping with the promo code SGP at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off and free shipping with the promo code manscaped.com. This St. Patrick's Day. Well, next St. Patrick's Day. Make your uh make sure your little hairy leprechaun is luckier than ever. All right. Northwest says the manscaped. Had writer had a pun and like what you don't know, Clark, and the rest of you listeners is that Colby is ad libbing this entire thing. He's not reading a word. There is no copy of the manscape to say whatever you want to say, then go and this is all this is all done the top of the dome. Uh well, I mean, I like to promote a good product, but uh I mean you're your heart sold though. But I are you? Uh, is uh, can I ask the chat? Is CJ breaking up to you guys, or is that just my shitty internet uh, at the, uh, at the hotel? I see a picture, Mike. If not, we're just gonna. Uh, Mike is going berserk. Fix your mic, me or CJ? CJ, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, it sounds sorry. crazy to the audience, which is good. We're in Vegas. Um, so better. Mike, I was told it's better a little bit. You sound like T Pain. That's what that's what they said. <laughs> you sound a little bit like T Pain right now. <laughs> um. Well, uh, they're saying your connection. Where are you at? You're, you're at your house. Where are you at right now? I'm in the park. Left behind. I'm in fucking Vegas. I'm not philosophy. <laughs> uh, I can't hear a word you're fucking saying, but I know it's funny. All right. Oh, man. I know it's no, funny. Man. You want to pop out and come back in? All right, yeah, let me pop out. Yeah, do that, and I'll read another ad. All right, I want to tell you, the college basketball experience is brought to you by Champs. Champs is hosting a free March Madness bracket contest for a chance to win $1,000. Plus, if you host your own March Madness pool on Champs, you'll get an extra free entry into the bracket contest. Tiebreakers are determined by who enters, and uh, so make sure uh, you register now so you don't miss out. Head to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash champs. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning. 
with Hall of Fame bets. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, his answer, I was like, um, here, and I guess we can go. We can do this. We can do this right now. His answer was, uh, I was like, I, dude, where are you at right now? I heard nothing. I heard abs. It was like a, <laughs> it sounded like a, like a, a toaster oven was just fucking like thrown into a fucking lake or something. You know, I just heard like, just, I don't know. I think you guys probably got that too. And I'm the one at the hotel. So I was thinking maybe it was me. Maybe it was me, but I see like the bet detective is entering. He's, he's back perhaps. We'll see. Hey, all right. Perhaps we, we'll see. How's the mic? We got, we got a voice in everything. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Oh, at least, at least the chat kept jokes up when I left. That's all that matters. I got keep the sound roasting. Daft Punk, that's a good one. I'm in the Vegas basement, You're right? I was saying, yeah, not all of us got comp the the, the suite at the Palazzo. Some of us are in the box. I'm at the I'm at the Circus Circus. I'm at the goddamn fucking. Uh, <laughs> Whatever I, happened to that Hooters? I did a comedy show there once. At that Hooters, yeah, it's still yeah. there, right? For sure. Absolutely. Yeah, really? I never see it anymore. What, what a terrible businessman. Hooters, we're in Vegas, pal. Don't, I mean, don't we need your PG rated? Oh, oh, man. Wow. You know, Jesus. Every goddamn, every every bar here's like a Hooters. Every, yeah, that's, that's true. That's called the, that's the business model. It's like, should, should I, should I uh, go order shitty food and have this chick with big tits, right. you know, deliver it? Or should I get the prostitute that's right over there? Um, yeah, you know. I guess there's a tweets their own, but um, yeah. uh, Northwestern Florida Atlantic. I've been trying to ask you about this game for 20 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I'm big on Florida Atlantic. I don't know what to do with this Northwestern team too. They're kind of uh, locked a little, they're a little banged up, but um, oh man, I can see Northwestern winning this game. Cause just so much because of uh, everyone's on Florida Atlantic as well. Um, now that's at two and a half. Yeah. I kind of like Northwestern in this game. I'm going to take FAU, but I got no faith in this game. Yeah, I don't either. I'm taking it just to be contrarian. Uh, they got their leading scorer back Northwest and they are banged up. Um, they took an early exit. They'll be prepared. I mean, they, but they had, they have a lot of great advanced metrics that Florida Atlantic does not have. Um, so I don't know. I'll take the two and a half. I'll take Northwestern. This is a nine, eight, right? Yeah. I don't and know how Florida North- Atlantic got an eight, but uh, they did better. They better did. see than last year. The team that made the final four. This team is way worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colgate Baylor. Yeah, I'm all over it. Baylor minus yeah. the points. Bad matchup for Colgate. And I, you know, I love Colgate. I know you love Colgate. Baylor's yeah. gonna piss it, piss in their face. UAB San Diego State. San Diego State's laying six and a half. Hmm. Now this one I can get. This one I can. You can. You can I'm gonna you ride can, the Blazers. Yeah, I was just gonna say you can I'm talk me the into Blazers. the Blazers. You can talk me into the Blazers on this one. Um, San Diego State laying seven is like them laying twenty. Yeah, plus two twenty five too. Yep, yeah, plus two thirty five. I'm saying on the money Oof. line. Why not? Let's get on over there. Play a little music for that one. <laughs> you a b plus the points. Ride that money line. Western Kentucky's getting 14 and a half against Marquette. It's one down a point, huh? Interesting. I'll take the tops. Vegas is trying to tell me something. What are you doing here? Bet detective is on this. Um, well, of course, the injury news from Marquette is, is vital. Um, I, I bet he plays in this game. Um, I'm here. He's playing. Yeah, I hear he's playing as well. I kind of, I don't know. I like Marquette, to be honest with you. I'm going to take the but, top. But that's a lot of points, 14 yeah. and a half. Mark could win by 10, 12. Yeah, for Still sure. Fine. All right, you know what? I, I wasn't that convinced. Give, all right, give me Western Kentucky. Why not? Stetson, the Hatters are catching Ooh. 26 and a half against Ooh, UConn. The, the Mad Hatters. Now, I like Stetson first half. I, I'll be, I, I don't mind a Stetson first half play. Oh, yeah. This is an inflated line. UConn, UConn uh, traditionally starts off slow in the first half. Then they pound. Well, Iona they was up 10 a year ago. I was just going to say, yeah. Iona was up 10 on them last year. Then they came and pounded them. But um, so I think Stetson, what, what, what are you getting, like 14 in that first half? I think so. Some, something to that extent. Let me see if um, the first, first half line is out. I think it is. I think I saw it earlier. Um, Yeah. But I'll take yeah. uh, I'll take UConn for the game. Yep, for sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna go against UConn? I mean, they're they're an absolute fucking force. And that game's in like Buffalo or something. Where the fuck is that game? It's in somewhere up there. 
Uh, I think it's a Brooklyn, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I know it's a home game for, for UConn essentially. Yeah. UConn goes um, to Brooklyn and Boston. Is it? No. Yeah. Boston. Yeah, I think. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, New Mexico, the, the tournament did such a great job <laughs> seeding New Mexico. They should barely be in. They, they no. look, they shouldn't have been in, but they got lucky against San Diego state, but Clemson's a six seed, but uh, Vegas sets the odds as New Mexico as the favorite. Unbelievable. Hilarious. I mean, Vegas is even telling you, you fucked up the whole bracket. Um, I'm on the Lobos, dude. They're red hot. Clemson does this every fucking year. What are you doing here? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling Eddie house. I'm going against his kid when he's fucking screaming, shoving people. I love it. You got, I love, I love this New Mexico team. They're hilarious. They're a hilarious team too. They were great. They have all the advanced metrics. Then they completely fell apart for about a month and a half. <laughs> and then they went and had won the won the conference tournament. Why wouldn't they? And they had and they had to win. It was just, it was amazing. They have and, and, I mean, and the committee saw none of that. They saw none, none of it. it. Right. Um, they're just being they're just being told things. Oh, they lost the Air Force at home. Yeah, that's why we had them out. You didn't know that committee. <laughs> Someone told you that committee. Uh. Yale, Auburn, Yale's getting mm. 12 and a half, 13. I like yeah, the Bulldogs to hang around. Fuck the Bulldogs. Fuck Yale. They, they, <laughs> yeah. I'm upset they beat Brown in that game. <laughs> With the easiest buzzer beater I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, what was that? You're just going to let him drive in and just score? Drive right? in a little fucking buddy shot. I mean, what the hell are we doing out there, Brown? My God. Uh, I'm taking you on the points. Now, everyone's going to be on Auburn. I'll be on Auburn too. Call me a sucker square. This is what they do. They pound bad teams that snitch Bruce Pearl. And he's a coward. It's a coward schedule. They love being terrible teams. Uh, Trev Alberts bowl. You know, the Nebraska AD left. I hate the fake affable Bruce Pearl, by the way. I just want to toss that in there, but I'll be, <laughs> but I'll be on Auburn. Minus 13. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Trev Alberts, Nebraska yes. grad, leaves Nebraska for a And M. Amazing! Now they're playing each other. How did that happen? In women's and men's, uh, they got late, it right here. I like this late, little matchup. Yeah, I, I love it. But I think a And M's going to beat them, and then I, I think a And M's just going to—they're too tough for Nebraska. I, I, I've been on fade the Big Ten all year. But yeah, I'll fade better. the Big Ten. Yeah. Um, Nebraska, although Nebraska is fun to watch. Um. They got an Asian down there in Nebraska. I don't know how they landed that. He's hacking the system, hitting them threes. He knows how to hack that defense. Yeah. They're ama- they're fun. Um, they are a fun team. A and M. I haven't been on the right side yet all year. Every I'm either for or against them, and they're always <laughs> pissed. They're, they've been pissing in my face all year. This A and M team, <laughs> uh, but they're good. I love Tuminga, but uh, he doesn't play any defense. He just jacks those threes up, which I yeah. Well, he gets hot though. Oh, he Watch gets out. real hot. He's great. Watch yeah, out, I love man. him. How, how can you not love him? He's he's the yeah. best. But I'll take AM. <laughs> yeah, all day. Vermont taking on Duke. They gave Duke a nice draw, I thought, with Vermont. I think Duke's gonna fuck them up. I'm laying the eleven and a half with yep. the Dukies. Duke's that's one of my favorite plays, is Duke. My yeah, me too. Man. Charleston, Alabama. I hear a lot of people talking Charleston. Not me. I think it's a horrible matchup for Charleston. Mm. I think Alabama's athleticism is gonna fuck with them. Yeah. I think Alabama's gonna win by 30. Wow. Well, I will say this: everyone is off Alabama, you know. And dude, um, they gave Alabama a great bracket. They did. And they've I am a skeptic of Nate Oates and March Madness. Every fucking, I don't believe that shit works. But you look at the bracket, you're just like, I oh, this could be the year that they, they, you know, they never gone past the Sweet Sixteen. Right. Even when they had Spreewell and McDice and uh, Roy Rogers and Hollywood Robinson and Robert Ory, <laughs> they yeah. they they couldn't get it done, but. And I'm um, a, yeah, and I'm a yeah. big NATO tater, uh, but uh, I think they do have an opportunity here. Uh, that's a lot of points, though, because Charles, they can shoot. I mean, it, like, and Clark says over 200. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of points in this game. Uh, but you're right, Alabama can uh, just flex. I think Alabama's win. gonna fuck them up. They can win by 15 in their sleep. Then you got Longwood getting t- what just about 25 points against Houston. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I will. Say, I want to give a shout out to uh, to our guy Ike Belton, Longwood fan. Okay, who sent who sent me this in uh, on Twitter? Every NCAA tournament since COVID, so after COVID, t- twenty one on, it, there's been a two seed to lose to a fifteen, right? And a two is lost to a fifteen. 
Yeah. And they've all had uh, you know, kind of uh crazy names like uh, oral Roberts, St. Yeah. Peter's fairly Dickinson fair Dick. They call him. And now Longwood he's saying we need to jump in on this. Mm. It's making a lot of sense. It is making I'll, a lot of sense. Although however, Houston, I'll take Houston. Although, and, and, <laughs> and uh, Houston's a one seed. That's true. That is a good point. <laughs> it ruins, that is good that ruins point. the entire trend. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be a two fifty. It's close. <laughs> you almost got there. You almost fucking this. got I'll, there. I, I I will take the twenty four and a half though. I don't mind that with Longwood. I do. I'm taking Houston. Uh, <laughs> JMU, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's laid at five and a half. Yeah. A, a lot of people are on JMU, but I have Everyone's, to be on JMU still. Everyone. I know Wisconsin's playing great down the stretch. Yeah. I'm still taking JMU. They I'm still like JMU. Yeah. I think the matchup's good for J. I think it's a good matchup with them in this game. And um, I know Wisconsin. I mean, this almost seems like the Duke Oral Roberts game of last year, where everyone's on Oral Roberts. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Um, but JMU know. got <laughs> fucked. They put Duquesne above JMU for no reason. Yeah, I JMU know. almost went undefeated. <laughs> well, and, the, Duque- the, the Duquesne seating was definitely a case of uh, all right. We have VCU penciled in. We have them written in there. What they <laughs> lost? All right, we'll just slap Duquesne's name over it. Put the Duquesne <laughs> sticker over VCU. Duquesne, you're an 11 seed now. Like, it just uh, makes no, no sense to, though, because right. they put Michigan state in as a, what a nine JMU yep. beat Michigan state at Michigan state. Oh, JMU yeah. almost went undefeated. They yeah. almost went undefeated. What's their record? 32 and three or some shit. Like I, they, they really did get screwed. Uh, I'll take the points with them. TCU, yeah, well, Utah state. This is another one where the mountain West got fucked. They gave him TCU in the first round. TCU is a four and a half point favorite, even though Utah state's the eight and TCU is the nine. I'm laying it with TCU. What are you doing here? I like TCU. That number's really climbed up. Uh, when it's opened at Utah state just has a horrendous record in the tournament too. It's what, yeah. they, do. It's what they do, but they another team that got screwed. Yeah. I like TCU here. Grand Canyon getting five and a half against St. Mary's final game of the night. Love it. I'm going to take a shot. I know you got the future on Grand Canyon. Let's go. I got Grand Canyon 300 to one to ship it. The tournament, which you can still get today. I got no closing line value on that, Um, (laughs) but I've been riding that all year. 66 to one to win the region, which I uh, did get closing line value because they're at 40 to one. But um, I know. Why did they put them up against St. Mary's? That really upset me. Um, yeah, put them, put them up against a big team, yeah, like a power conference team, and put St. Mary's against a power conference team. It's just what this fucking committee does. They do it every year, but this but yeah, year they did it worse than ever. They really did. But um, like I said, I'll take, I'll take. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm not getting off. I'm not getting off Grand Canyon now. If you don't go to the wedding, if you go to the wedding, you gotta go to the funeral. So, Amen. Uh, all right. Well, folks, we will be live in a couple hours from a fucking bar. All right. The horse. <laughs> if they I think like it or not. It's either a bar or a uh, place where you can you can go horseback riding. Um, I always horse trailer hideout. Horse trailer hideout. Come hide out. All right. Talk some college soup. Six thirty Pacific today and tomorrow. So hop on over there if you're in Vegas. Come by. I'll buy you a cocktail. All right. Yes. So do that and also make sure you follow CJ Sullivan. At CJ Sullivan underscore the bet detective on the bottom line bombs. Get over there, subscribe to that podcast, the bottom line bombs. It is fantastic, <laughs> if I may say so myself. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm at the Colby D on Twitter. Follow the college basketball experiences on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Ten o'clock, we'll be live from the Win Studio. Myself, we have a joint college basketball experience sports gambling podcast show. So. Check that out. We're moving all through Vegas here. All right. Yeah. So uh, and come see us live. Watch the sweat the games with us at Westgate. Yes. I'll be I'll be coming in there. Bet Detective coming in hot from the box, a hot box. Westgate. Both days, Thursday and Friday, we're gonna do some live shit from there too. Yes. Hop on over to the Westgate. And uh, yeah, folks. Uh, That's it. Let's, go. let's go. They had enough. It, let's go. Yeah, I know. I'm, I, I, I need out of here. Uh, until a few hours from now, this is the college basketball experience. This is the best time of year. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. Run and shoot. We can be the run and shoot.